Hello everybody. As you know, I normally make odd astronomy and futurism videos, but this one is a little different and informal due to overwhelming audience requests that I cover the subject of drones and do it quickly. So here we go. In response to the requests, and in addition to this video, look for an interview on Event Horizon tomorrow with Dan Meiji, the CEO of drone manufacturer and contractor Firestorm for an expert view on the ongoing drone flaps and upticks, and drone technology in general. It was a fascinating conversation to be sure, out tomorrow as usual on EH. I don't think anyone will push back too much if I say that no matter what, it's been a crazy couple of weeks on the subject of drones. This is actually a much broader subject than the recent incidents, and while I sometimes discuss speculative technologies of the future, only rarely do I weigh in on the technologies of now, which drones very much are. But on the subject of drones, it seems worthwhile to do, and very relevant right now. And I have a prediction, and it might be a little unsettling for some. This may be the last ever drone flap. More on that in a bit. Here I must caveat something. I am not a skeptic of this. People are seeing drones, flat out. I'm not interested in debunking, you know what you saw, and some heard the quadcopter blades twirling. The reason there was a bit of that on the internet, I suspect, is because there were some wondering if it had anything to do with UFOs. But no, the key word for those is unidentified. People reporting were overwhelmingly identifying what they were seeing as drones. Human drones. Several military bases reported them as well. There were drones about, and people that know what drones are noticed a different pattern and amount, and that's how this started. Drones are not an extraordinary claim, and do not require extraordinary evidence, whatever that may be. It's drones. You can buy them on Amazon, which in the fairly near future may well be delivered by a drone. Drones delivering drones. The irony is delicious. What happened after is a different matter, because there were some people who might not normally pay attention to the sky starting to and that's when mistaken pictures of aircraft started being reported. I see this myself. I live right in the midst of an airport approach. I see low-flying commercial craft all the time coming in, and I love to open up a flight tracking app on my iPad and identify where they're coming from. Sometimes, though, those planes can look weird from a distance, wandering lights on the horizon in the evening haze, only to get close and reveal a Southwest Airlines livery or the outline of a Cessna. But also there were more drones, and that may have been the effective end of the flap. Why? Because out of the millions of drone operators in this world, a flap might remind one that they haven't flown their drone at night in a while, and it might be fun to fly. Or it might just be fun to fly to freak out the people looking for increased drone activity. That's a real effect, something related to the copycat effect. And that also is why it's a lot harder now to know if there is unusual drone activity still going on today, because tons of people are out flying their drones in response to this. And with so many people looking up that normally might not, mistakes will be made, and planes mistaken for drones. The waters are now muddied. So the flap continues, but what initially started the flap may no longer be happening. It's now probably too muddied for us members of the public to conclude anything any longer. But I will offer a hypothesis. Imagine if some entity, private or government, decided to do a test one or two nights or so and did not scream to the public that they were doing that test. A bunch of people saw all the drones and the flap began, and then everyone started flying their drones. That's just my hypothesis, but I think it's a solid one. Someone did a test and it snowballed, and now numerous people with drones are doing tests. There have been a number of interpretations of this drone flap, however, that have been problematic. One of these is the claim that people don't fly drones at night because drones can't see anything at night. This is horrifically incorrect. I see normal mundane drones at night all the time. The town I live in puts on fireworks displays, even for just the conclusion of sports games. And there are always drones in the air taking bird's eye view footage of the fireworks. The police drones love the night and drones with night vision or infrared cameras do too. Drones fly at night, and it's not unusual. Another is the rumor of a broken arrow, or some kind of nuclear materials. The hypotheses vary wildly, that the drones are out sniffing for with detection equipment. Those scenarios are unlikely, especially after this much time in the ongoing flap. 
That was never a likely scenario, not an impossible one, but there are a whole lot of other things that can be done from the ground for such a situation that we simply are not seeing concurrent with the flap. Such an effort would be very visible in other ways. In a really bad situation, one of those would be extensive roadblocks and checkpoints, and vehicles with markings that one does not normally see that are specific to dealing with hazardous materials. What might be more likely is a delivery service that has been openly exploring the option of delivering packages with an enormous fleet of drones that might do a test, and do it completely licensed and legally, but not tell the public, thinking that there really isn't a reason to, given that we live in the drone age and have for a good decade. It's not a far stretch to think that something like that might not be announced publicly. And that brings up the point I wanted to make about drone technology in general. This is very likely to be the last, or among the last, drone flaps we will ever see. The reason quite simply is drone proliferation. These things are being manufactured and sold to hobbyists. Lots of people love flying drones, just like lots of people love flying model aircraft and rockets. I myself had a drone, though it was a small one, and let's just say it met a rather unsavory end and no longer functions. I make a much better YouTuber than I do a pilot, as it were. And truth be told, the drone never left the living room. But then there are the uses for commerce, industry, and government. I mentioned only a few, but drones are being employed for firefighting, missing person searches, law enforcement, real estate bird's eye views of properties, YouTube videos, movies and television, traffic control and monitoring, surveying, science, military uses go without question given what's happening in the world, and any number of uses where an aerial view is useful, or use of airspace desired. This means that in coming years there will only be more and more drones, with many uses just like cars and trucks have many uses, and at some point drones will be so common that the flap will be when people do not see them. A lack of drones becomes a weird pattern, not an increase. We are merely a few years, if that, from those days, especially if package delivery comes sooner rather than later. If package delivery comes at all, one can imagine the lawsuit potential, but we shall see. But that brings me to the last point I would make about drones in general. Leave them alone. Do not interfere with them in any way. Keep the laser pointers away. Do not shoot at them and leave them be. The laws in the US are very behind and lagging regarding drones. They are basically treated as aircraft and fall under the laws that very rightfully protect aircraft and pilots from interference, aviation safety. But the laws on drones specifically need to be looked at because if these things are going to be delivering packages, there will be nothing but incidents of all sorts. And that needs its own set of regulation, law, and governance. They are not the same thing as an aircraft with someone in it, and they need their own regulation and law. But above all, leave the drones alone until the law catches up. So that's my viewpoint on the drone situation in response to viewer demand. I'll be back to science videos later this week, and everyone be safe. Always look up and ponder the happenings of the heavens, and appreciate this amazing universe in which we live.